Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm just doing my interrail trip around Europe with my backpack on my back. And uh, since I'm here, why don't I show you my top five interrail essentials? Na 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 tax jams. Let's see what I've got in the bag. In at number five, we have a lock. The reason why this is important is because in every hostel they have a locker underneath the bed to put your bag in. And usually you can buy the locks from the hostel, but it's cheaper just to take your own. So there we go, the lock's a crucial one there. In at number three, I have a notepad and an organizer. These are under one category because, you know, I've only got room for five. And this is good because you can write down your plans for the day or things that have happened in the day for memories. And then the organizer's good because you can keep all your tickets in it, your passport, your insurance card, and you know, any tickets that you've used, like train tickets or think rides that you've been on, like the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that. So you've got all the memories, putting your, like, um, your scrap, what's it called? Notepad afterwards. In at number three, I have a Caxton card. And this is basically a card that you put money on before you go, ideally. But if you run out of money, you can also update it by texting them or using the app that they have, which is really straightforward to use. And it's just helped us out loads of times. In fact, um, at one point when we went to the Czech Republic, I emailed Caxton and I said, is your card going to work in the Czech Republic? And they said, yeah, it will work, but it'll cost more than what your credit card will cost. So ideally, use your credit card. I was like, cheers, guys. So that really helped. And this is really useful. I topped it up several times got me out of many a situation, so there we go. In at number two, I have a camera. This one is a GoPro, it's pretty useful because you can do the old selfie on it, I've got it on a pole. This is basically the only thing I took. I took the whole box of accessories and this is the only thing I used. But this is good because you can have it on a pole and you can look at yourself or whatever. And, but I also took my SLR camera, which is what I'm filming this video on now. You have to take your camera because you've got to show everyone that you've done these things. It's good to keep memories and that's that. In at number one. I have the rucksack itself. This particular rucksack is an 85 litre and I took such a big one because I was planning to take a lot of uh, camera equipment so I could document my travels. However, my girlfriend Hannah took a 60 litre rucksack and she found that plenty big enough. But you want something that's gonna be easy to manage around because you never know if you're gonna to have to carry your bag around for the day if you're changing in between hostels. I only went for two weeks so this did me fine but I don't think it really matters how long you go for because you still take round about the same amount of things because every hostel has washing facilities so you can wash your clothes and then wear them again. One little extra tip, make sure you take a lightweight waterproof coat because you never know when it's going to rain, you just want to pull it out your like your day rucksack. Save my bacon several times. That has been my top five interrailing essentials. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe and like the video. If you've got any questions then please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. I'm going to carry on my journeys now, I'll see you when I get back. This is just a prototype, but it's um, similar to what you see on a submarine. It's uh, not a stethoscope. Oh, this is quite... <laughs>